Hello, this is Jack from Teaching ESL Online. Now today we're going to talk about email marketing and more specifically an email autoresponder series. I like to call these automations because that is what they are called inside my email marketing software. Now to learn more about which software I use, then just go into the description and click my affiliate link. And while you're down there, consider taking the five day email marketing challenge. I'll explain more why you should do that later. So an email autoresponder series, or let's just call them automations from now on. These are a series of pre-written emails that go out automatically when somebody subscribes to your email list. For the sake of simplicity, let's say it is five emails. So this person is going to receive email one today, email two tomorrow, email three on day three, and so on. But you can decide the gap between these emails and how many emails you want to write. Now you can also trigger a series of emails based on something else, a different type of action. For example, if somebody goes onto your sales page and you have software which tracks that, then you can send out an email to somebody if they don't buy your course or product. Or if you want to do a webinar, you can send out an email and if somebody clicks the link to join the webinar, then you can use that as a trigger to then send out automated emails for your webinar. Or if somebody buys something from you, or books a consultation, then you can send out pre-written emails. So all of these are automations. And again, they're pre-written and they go out automatically depending on the trigger. So to help you better understand this, let's give an example. And let's say that you are a fitness influencer on Instagram. And to monetize your Instagram account, you decide to give consultations. So you meet people online, either through Skype or Zoom, and you give consultations. You work with people on a one-to-one -one basis, and you want to get more people into these consulting sessions. Now, there are two main ways you can do this. You can send people directly to the booking page from Instagram. So when you're posting on Instagram, you can say, okay, if you want to work with me, go to this link and book a consultation. Or you can send people through an automation first. Now, the key point is this. From my experience and from talking to others, sales are much higher through email automations than just sending people to a sales page. How successful these strategies are depend on the kind of content that you're creating. Because if you make a really good connection with somebody, then they're more likely to buy from you. And you can do this on Instagram. But if you get the automation stage right, and you write a really powerful series of emails, then this can bring in so many more consultations than just sending people to a sales page. Now, what I recommend you do is try both. So try sending people directly to your consulting page and also through the emails. And you can even give people an option of the two things. But the automation works because what you're doing is you're communicating with people in a way that you wouldn't do through social media. So when you're on Instagram, it's not really a salesy platform. If you talk about your consultant all the time on social media, then people will stop engaging with your content. But email is different because it gives you the opportunity to nurture your leads. People buy from those who they know, like, and trust. And you can build this connection through email when somebody opts in to your list. But it's not just about nurturing the leads and getting people to like you, because an automation allows you to send out the best information you can in sequence. You could take people through an experience so that they are more ready to buy from you. You can lead people to the offer of your consulting so that they are convinced to spend their time and money with you. So this works for other things too. It works for courses and also digital products. And this is what I do on my channel for English language learners. I send them through a series of emails after they download my book. And we're gonna talk about lead magnets in a moment. If you're in other industries, the type of emails that I'm going to talk about later might not be best for your business. So for example, if you are an attorney, there's a different type of message that you want to send out. Or if you're a restaurant, then there's a different type of message too. And maybe an email newsletter would work better for your business. But if you're selling consulting 
or digital products, then definitely consider starting an email autoresponder series or an automation. Now, the first step here is to think about what kind of lead magnet you can offer. And I highly recommend creating some type of free guide or free video course because the opt-in rate is going to be so much higher. For example, my book, The Five Step Plan for English Fluency, has a conversion rate of over 40%. But if you just put on your website or a landing page saying subscribe to my email newsletter, then that conversion rate is going to be so much lower. If you just have that at the bottom of the post and maybe at the top, you're looking at a one to 2% conversion rate from my experience. Whereas a 40% conversion rate sounds much better. Having that subscribe to my email newsletter on a specific landing page will increase your conversion rate, but we want to get the highest amount of converters because if your offer is converting at 40%, then for every thousand people, you're going to get 400 people joining your email list. If it is converting at 2%, then for every thousand people, you're looking at 20 people. And that difference is huge. So we want to get that right first. And we can do that by getting a really strong landing page and having a good lead magnet relevant to your industry. Again, to learn more about this, then take my five day email marketing challenge and also check out some of the videos I've made on these subjects in the description. That challenge is also going to help you overcome the technical issues and so that you can connect your lead magnet and the leads to your email marketing software. But once you have that set up, the next step is to think about your end goal. What is it that you want people to do when they go through these series? In the example we just gave, it's to buy consulting from you to get fitness consulting. And in this case, starting with that end goal helps you craft your emails. It helps you come up with your automations so that you can lead people to this consulting offer. And a good way to think about this is to think about some of the common problems that people have in your industry and how your consulting can solve these problems. In fitness, it's all about people trying these different methods. They know information, but they're not seeing any progress. But your consulting can fine tune that getting that outside voice to help them fine tune their diet and exercise so they can start seeing results. You can say things like an expert can make all the difference to your progress and I'm here to help you with that. And right now you can get my consulting, the first consulting session for 50% off. So you're going through the problems they have, saying how you can solve those problems and then giving a good offer so that people take you up on this. In your emails, you can also overcome barriers and concerns. You can talk about how there's no obligation to continue and that they will get a lot out of that first session if they don't decide to continue. You can also mention that they can take their consultation in their own time so that they are on their own schedule. So having these series of emails that lead up to this offer, that go through the problems and how you can solve them, is a way that you can increase your sales. So again, if you have an online course or a digital product, this is going to work for that too. And this is how I constructed my automations when writing them for my English language learners. If you don't have a product or service to sell right now, then still consider creating automations because you can write a series of emails that send out your best content, give something away for free, and then send out an email saying, okay, what you're going to learn today is this, what you're going to learn today is this, and just continue those types of emails. Maybe send out five, 10, 15, 20 or more emails that have been pre-written to your new email subscribers. In fact, I do something called funnel stacking or automation stacking. When people go through my initial offer, they then go into a different automation where I send out all my old English lessons, those lessons that people have enjoyed in the past. And at the bottom of about 75% of the emails, I include a small call to action, which just reminds people that my program is there for them if they want to take it. And I have a different type of angle each time to overcome concerns. And then once they go through this second automation, they're then placed on my regular list and they receive my newsletter. So that is an introduction to the email autoresponder series or automations. Now, again, if you want to look at this in depth and to go through all the technical parts of getting it set up, 
then take my five day email marketing challenge. You're going to learn how to create a landing page, what type of lead magnets work, how to set up active campaign and how to tie it all together and write emails that are going to help you build your business. Let me know if you have any questions below. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will speak to you soon. Bye-bye.